In the previous lesson, we have learned that a company allows its users to communicate to the internet in two ways for web browsing and sending and receiving emails. Also, we have learned about how Web Gateway helps in securing users from visiting malicious websites. In this module, we will learn about the email gateway. It is sometimes referred to as email security solution. Email gateway monitors and scans incoming and outgoing email traffic. Email traffic means SMTP, which works on port number 25. One of the straightaway advantage of deploying an email gateway is spam filtering. Spams are the unwanted emails usually sent in bulk to hundreds and thousands of users. 80% of the internet's email traffic is spam. So it becomes very much essential to stop these spams from entering into users' mailbox. Spam detection works based on proprietary algorithms. Every incoming email is given a spam score between 1 and 10. 1 means good email. 10 means spam email. Usually, administrators allow emails with a spam score less than 4 as they would be legitimate emails. Any emails with spam score of 4.1 and 7 will be considered suspicious and usually sent to users' spam or junk mailbox. If the spam score is more than 7.1, then it is confirmed spam email and will be deleted. Another feature of email gateway is the anti-spoofing capabilities. Email spoofing is email header forgery where the message appears to have originated from someone other than the actual source. Example, an attacker sending a mail using a bank's domain name. Anti-spoofing works based on SPF, DKIM and DMARC of an incoming email. You will be learning about these terms in the future. Another critical feature of email gateway is the anti-phishing capabilities. Phishing is a type of social engineering where an attacker sends a fraudulent message designed to trick a human victim into revealing sensitive information or to download malicious attachments. Phishing detections happen with the use of vendors threat intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Again, you will be learning about threat intelligence later. Email gateways also protect against malwares. An attacker can attach malicious files to an email. That's why it becomes essential to scan all email attachments, which is done using a built-in antivirus module. Another level of filtering that email gateways do is file filtering. File filtering can be done based on file name or extension or file size. Next, let's take a look at the placement of email gateway. Email gateway is kept right before the email server. You notice two email servers in the network here. One email server is responsible for sending and receiving emails typically called the edge server and the other one is used to store the emails called the mailbox server. Edge is kept in the DMZ and mailbox server is kept in the server LAN. When an email is sent to an user in the company, it first hits the email gateway where it is checked against the policies configured by the administrator. Here the email will undergo all the checks like anti-spam, anti-spoof, anti-fish and file filtering. If the email appears to be good, it is then forwarded to the Edge server. Edge server finally sends the mail to appropriate user's mailbox. When the user connects to the mail server, the email will be downloaded on his or her machine. Let's end this module by understanding how a security analyst will be using email gateway to perform his or her duties. Because all the email traffic passes through the email gateway, a SOC analyst can use it to check the following. What are the emails received by a specific recipient? How many emails are sent by a specific sender? 
how many emails are sent with the same subject line, how many attachments are there in a specific email, what is the spam score of a specific email, etc.